What's up, everybody? How's it going? Yes, I'm going to go ahead and talk about Dress Up My Darling, which a lot of people are... There's a controversy around it. I didn't want to talk about this because it was kind of stupid because someone mentioned this. And I'm going to go ahead and say this. Please do not contact or harass anyone I mentioned in this video. I'm just pointing out some things and giving out information on this because it seems that some people are accusing um, the character, and I forgot her name, uh, who happens to be a Garu. For those who don't know what Garu is, it's a, it's a subculture in Japan that uh, does absurd fashion. Now, I know that some people are complaining about the blackface issue, but I'm just going to go ahead and point out something here, and I'm going to go ahead and say this. There's a subculture called Yamaba, which is like a subculture itself from Yamaba or, Yam or Mamba, as they call it. I, I'm sorry if I can't pronounce it the the Japanese very well are the styles which developed it from Garu, Gangaru or something like that. The old school Yamaba or Yamaba, particularly known as 2014 Yamba, featured dark tan and white lipstick, pastel eye makeup, and, the, and you can see right here this is like an absurd Japanese subculture fashion style that they're into. And the problem is people seem to think that it's blackface but in japan it isn't really considered blackface it's just a a, a fashion style that they can do and it's absurd to them and they don't really give a crap they just think it's kind of fun and cute that's pretty much what it is in japan for japanese women i don't really have a problem with it but when it comes down to it, some people are upset of th this issue because she wanted to cosplay a character. And I believe that character is this one right here. It's that uh, girl, on the, girl on the left uh, <laughs> on the third section right here with the white <laughs> with the white hair. That was one of the characters that she wanted to cosplay in that episode, which I watched. And she wanted to... Um, really cosplay that character but she had, she wanted to do the tan skin and everything because she thinks that it was kind of cool character but a lot of people got upset because they claimed it was blackface when really it wasn't it's tan skin and of course this woman right here got upset and tried to say say it's racist i'm just going to go ahead and say this right now you're mistaken by this. You really don't understand <laughs> the Japanese culture very well. And it's obvious you don't know about the fashion style, which is Ganguru or Garu, as they call it. And it's kind of interesting enough that, yes, it's absurd. And yes, it could be offensive to some people saying it's blackface, but really it's not. This culture's been around for probably two decades. And uh, surprisingly, it's it's somewhat popular. It's not really big in Japan, but still, girls like to you know dye their hair, put on the makeup, and and put on these absurd fashion styles in Japan. And keep this in mind, you guys need to understand. <laughs> this is nothing. This is nothing new, and it should be. It should have never been a controversy. People should have understand before they start opening their mouth about this. Anyways, leave your thoughts down below and I'll probably link the Ganguru culture for you guys so you can understand why they do this. It's a it's a fashion style and you have to understand this is nothing this should never have been a controversy. People should have never, you know, opened their mouth that this is uh blackface and all that stuff. No it isn't. It's a fashion style. So anyways, Leave your likes and dislikes down below and tell me what you guys think. If you want to debate me on this issue, go ahead and leave your comments down below. Uh, anyways, take care. Bye-bye. Because I'm out of here.